So, we're going to teach you how to split river cane. We get a lot of requests asking us, how do you split river cane? How do you get this round piece of river cane into something like this so you can weave it? So here we go. First, I want to tell you, this took me 10 years to learn. So what I'm showing you right here is a lot of practice and a lot of, you know, trial and error. I stick my knife inside it, I then score it, and then I crack it. I take it on the other side now and try to get, you know, close enough to the other side where it's even. I crack it again, and I'm sticking my knife in here in that crack. Now I'm getting close to this joint and it's going to get tricky. And I may or may not make it through it because I haven't done some cracking in a while. And this is not green cane. It's cane that's been out in the yard for how long, Raj? Three months. About three months. So here we go. This is the part that kills you or makes you. And what I'm doing is I'm twisting back and forth. Because if you try to cram your knife down, it's going to go flat into your hand and cut your finger off. How do I know that? I've got scars. Scars to prove it. I don't know if this knife's strong enough for this joint. Let me try my pink girl knife. So see how we have it split in half? I'm going to be embarrassed if I have to hand this over to a man. Okay, Raj. Stay right where you are, and this is where I'm admitting defeat and going to give up to you. Yeah. So, now we got a man. Oh, I hate that. Watch him go. Off. There you go. Okay, so Two. since you're doing it, you want to go back to me or you? Let's go back to me. Okay. <clears throat> so, now we have two pieces. We always say we quarter it. Well, that depends on how big the cane is. We're looking for little flawed spots like that. That's not going to work out very well when we come to, you know, weaving. So, I'm going to score it again. See right here with my knife? Once I'm in there good, see how that took off on me? I grabbed my finger back. Be careful trying this at home. And we recommend Band-Aids, Band-Aids, Band-Aids. Sometimes I'll put three layers of Band-Aids on these fingers. But if you'll notice, Slint and Cane isn't about going wham wham with your knife. What it's about is, it's this wrist action. You're popping back and forth. Oh, I made it through a joint. Back and forth. And when they say you can feel it, you know how you peel a potato? And the first time you peel a potato, you think you did a really good job until you look down and you see a whole lot of potato left on those peelings. That's how this is. You just feel it. You get better at it with time. Now, the way I cracked through that, I popped it. I went sideways. I didn't go quick. It's so important. Otherwise, you're not going to have any fingers left. So here we are. We now have two pieces. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, do I want to weave a basket that thick? Probably not. This is about as wide as I weave with. So see, we can get two more out of this if we're really good. We'll try one more and tonight's lesson will be over. Again, I'm scoring the top and that's where you're really careful when you're scoring because you don't want it to take off and cut you. Like I'm gonna be, I'm already embarrassed. Roger shamed me once. Okay, I'm in. When you're in like that, again, it's wrist action. Back forth, back forth. Now look, we lost a piece, so we're not gonna get two whole splints out of this. But if I were to continue down, which I'm not going to, there's no point. I want to go on. I don't want this to be too long. What we're going to show you is how to get it from a round stick 
quarter it, half it, quarter it, and then we're going to teach you how to peel it. Are you getting that good, Raj? It has an inside pith, I call it. I don't know what other people call it, but it's the inside part. What we want is this outside shiny part. This has silica in it. Google that, silica. A lot of kitchen countertops have silica in them. And it's, it's from what I understand, it's kind of a glass. So are you getting that? Or are my fingers in the way. You're fine. I feel like I'm on that knife show right now, that crazy knife show. So what I'm doing is I'm peeling. That inside, I'm peeling it off. And we're gonna scrape and do that, and do that, and do that. You know how many times we're gonna, that's my dog making all that noise over there. And after we scrape that and scrape that and scrape that off, we'll do it a little more next time. We're gonna end up with pieces this thin. So really all, look how limber it is now. So, next lesson. We will actually split more cane, and we'll do it outside so you can see it better. And after we get it to this point, we're gonna make a sifter basket. This is an old sifter basket. It looks ugly, no it doesn't. No basket is ugly. This is made by a national treasure from a long time ago, and it's made out of willow. The one we're gonna make out of honeysuckle will be a little straighter than this probably because this is an old basket that's been used. So until we meet again.